Hello, hello, Mark Ingo and Jacko Not Takes Nothing John. How are you today? So this is your tutor Jacko at your service. All right. Well, for today's video, we will be talking about you know the manual books of accounts na ginagamit natin in bookkeeping. All right. So in this case, um, this is applicable for um online teachers as well as freelancers and vloggers. Okay. Uh, this is referring to non-VAT taxpayers, alright? So, we will be talking about it this time. Again, disclaimer lamang po, I'm not actually working for BIR or any, uh, any bookkeeping company or accounting or auditing company. So, I am just sharing these things to you based on my experiences with, you know, my transactions in the BIR, alright? So, watch out till the very end of this video. Actually, this is part one of the video. And I'm gonna, you know, help you understand and, of course, how to um, use your uh, manual books of accounts. Alright, now here's our agenda for this video tutorial. Of course, you will be answering um, a lot of uh, questions here. So, what books do we need to accomplish each year? So, yan yung unang tanong. So, when do we register the books of accounts for the new registrants? Ayan, so mga bago pa lang mag, uh, papa register sa BIR. And then, do we need to register the books to the BIR every year? And get another question, when do we need to buy and register the succeeding books all right so we will answer all these questions as we go on with our tutorial for this video so what are the books uh do we need okay to accomplish um each year you know each accounting year so here are the books that you know we need to buy and then of course use in every uh, transactions we have so first one we have um, the journal or the general journal of course we have the ledger and then the cash receipts book and then we also have the cash disbursement book and of course this is very important guys though this is not part of the book but this is um, an attachment okay to the books we have the official receipt all right so Importante that you know you also have the official receipt because uh, as a registered professional or uh, you know providing services we need to also issue okay official receipt. Just a reminder for everybody um, before you use your books of accounts your manual books of accounts have it stamped by the BIR first okay. Um, uh, registered it to the BIR first and then after the registration yung BIR magtatatak din ng stamp there alright so sa so makikita niyo, this is an example so usually nagsa-stamp ang BIR on the first page of your um, books of accounts okay alright now let's move on to um, the different books of accounts alright well don't worry in the next part of this series that's gonna be part two of this series I will also discuss or have a tutorial on what specific things you will write in your journal, in your ledger, cash disbursement, and cash receipts books. Alright? For now, this is generic. Okay? Uh, this is just an introductory uh, portion of, you know, our entire tutorial. So, now let's move to um, the journal. Alright? So, of course, um... This is referring to the general journal, okay? Um, in this particular book, all transactions are recorded here in a form of journal entries. If you are familiar with accounting, so you know what I mean, right? So, in accounting, kasi we have debit, then credit, okay? And then the explanation. That's the journal entry, entry all right? So, for example, of course, we are providing services to our clients, all right? So, we will receive... Uh, gagamitin natin na, na, na account is service revenue. Okay? So that's service revenue. And then of course, ano yung na-receive natin? Of course, in a form of cash. Alright? Um, so when you record it in a, in a journal entry form, so you have debit, okay, cash, and then of course, um, credit service revenue. 
Alright, and then your explanation. To record, uh, pay for the period, nilagay niyo yung date, and then of course the OR number na ginamit ninyo when you issue um, official receipt to your client. Alright, pwede din ganun. Alright, or uh, like for example this year, uh, of course you have paid for the renewal of your uh, registration, okay, uh, to the BIR. Of course, that's 500 pesos. Alright, so ilagay nyo um, what did you pay for. Like for example, in my case, uh, yung account na ginagamit ko is taxes and licenses. Alright, so that's an expense account. So you can say uh, debit tax expense, tax and licenses expense, or tax and licenses, and then you credit cash because you paid cash. Alright, so that's 500 and 500. Alright, and of course, you can write you know, in the explanation to record and then to record um, annual uh, payment for the annual registration to the BIR with OR number okay or some of you paid it in in, in GCash or online banking so you can also um, attach okay that the confirmation email and also the screenshot in GCash if that's the case all right and now we have um, the ledger, all right? So actually, this is the second step in the accounting cycle. After, uh, after the journal entry, um, uh, you will post what you have, you know, written or recorded in your journal entry into your ledger, all right? So the ledger, it's actually a record or records of each account and its running balances, all right? So, like for example, ano yung mga accounts na na-mention ko kanina? I've already mentioned the account service revenue, the cash account, um, taxes and licenses. Okay, yun yung mga na-mention ko. So, these are the accounts na makikita mo doon sa ledger. Okay? Like for example, yung first example natin na service revenue. Okay, nag-debit ka ng cash because cash yung na-receive mo. And then, nag-credit ka ng service revenue. Alright? Now, i-record mo siya, ipopost mo siya to the ledger, okay? Mayroong portion doon para sa service revenue, para sa cash, alright? So, ililipat mo siya, i-record mo siya for the service revenue, and then meron din for the cash, alright? And then, makikita mo rin yung running balance mo. Like, for example, uh, running balance mo for your service revenue for the first quarter, alright? So, makikita mo doon sa ledger yung total na balance mo for at uh, the particular account, alright? Or sa yung cash account mo, makikita mo how much left you have, okay? How much cash you have, alright? After, uh, after the first quarter, alright? And now, let's go to the cash receipts book, alright? Of course, this is, you know, a record of all your cash inflows. Alright, so makikita mo dito yung mga uh, na-receive mo na mga cash. Alright, from what client, okay? Uh, some of us here, we are, you know, doing online tutorials, parang ding mga vloggers and freelancers. And we have a different, we have different clients. Alright, so i-record mo, you know, uh, ano, ano yung na-receive mo or magkano yung na-receive mo from this client. Alright, um, you know, the service revenue na na-receive mo from from another client so this is actually a record of all your cash inflows all right usually sa atin um service revenue talaga merong mga cash inflows like a uh, tax refund all right so uh, especially kung mayroon tayong tax refund so isa din yun sa mga cash inflows and other inflows ng cash na papasok you know when you provide the service and then in return you receive um you know something in monetary value Okay, on the other hand, uh, kung meron tayong cash receipts or inflows, meron din tayong cash disbursements or these are actually your expenses, alright? Yung mga gastos mo, alright? Like for example, uh, usually nagbabayad tayo ng mga taxes and licenses, you know, on set of the year, quarterly, annually. So, um, that's part of your um, disbursement or your expenses. Other things like when you pay your bills, all right, internet, electricity, so that's your expenses, okay, disbursement of cash. 
other things also like um, you pay for um, supplies okay bumili ka ng mga supplies mo like this one columnar for your bookkeeping records and other things na binili mo na according to the needs na need mo for uh, providing the kind of service that you are offering okay Alright, now nandito na tayo ngayon sa official receipt. Bakit kasi nali ang official receipt? Kasi nga, um, in accounting and in bookkeeping, when you have a transaction, it's very important na mayroon kang proof of the transaction. Why? Because um, when you want your financial statements to be audited by an accountant or a CPA, uh, kailangan nilang makita yung proof of transactions mo. Alright? Uh, meron ding mga tax mapping, okay? So, baka isa ka sa maka-experience uh, ng tax mapping from the BIR, meaning visit from the BIR. It's like an audit no, from the BIR. So, importante itong mga uh, documentary requirements na ito, the official receipt, alright? So, sa official receipt, like for example, uh, uh, you, you receive a pay from a client, importante as a registered professional, na issue tayo ng official receipt, alright? And also, nag-spend tayo ng money, like for example, may tayo ng office supplies, mayroon tayong na-receive na receipt from, depart, from, the, from the department store or uh, a supply store. So, huwag natin itapon yung resibo kasi that's a proof of transaction mo. So, i-attach mo yan doon uh, sa transaction mo. So, whenever uh, you want your financial statements to be audited by a CPA, okay, um, Ando na, so makikita na niya na mayroon ka ng proof of your transactions. By the way, for those na wala pang resibo, I also made a tutorial uh, on how to get and issue your official receipt. Alright, so um, just, you know, explore my channel, guys. And for the question, when do we register the books for new registrants? Okay, so mga... Bago dyan, especially now, it's January. This is the perfect time to, you know, it's the perfect time of the year to register, okay, as a professional. Alright, now, so when? Alright, so under the Revenue Memorandum Circular number 29-2019, for new registrants, the manual books of accounts shall be registered before the deadline or filing of the first quarterly income tax return or the annual income tax return, whichever comes earlier. Alright? Like, for example, ngayon ka, mag-process ng iyong registration, and then, uh, also your your books, okay? So, mag-process ka ng registration ngayon, um, you are given until uh, the deadline of your first um, quarter year return. So, January ka nag-apply, so definitely, kapag ka nag-start ka na nyan, uh, mag-provide ng services, so, January, February, and March, okay, that's the first quarter of the year. So, the deadline for uh, for for the quarter uh, is April 15, alright? So, you very register mo yung books mo before, on or be, uh, before April 15, alright? So, ganon. Um, the second quarter, kung sa second quarter ka magpa-register, alright? So, that's going to be April, May, June. And the deadline for that is August 15. So, you register your um, uh, books of accounts before the deadline, August 15. Alright? Same as true with the third quarter. So, the deadline for the third quarter is November 15. Okay? November 15. So, you can register your books um, before November 15. Alright, but for new registrants, it is advisable to register your books upon registration. Okay, so once na okay ka na, you're already registered, no, register mo na rin yung books of accounts mo para, you know, uh, tatakan mo na. Okay, kasi uh, ang mangyari yan, um, wala ka pang books of accounts, okay, tapos nagkumpisa ka na magturo online, nagkumpisa ka na magtrabaho as a freelancer, and then I, uh, as, as a vlogger, so nagkaka-income ka na. And then there are cases na pag may tax mapping tapos wala ka pang books, uh, magkaka-ano ka, magkaka- mag-penalize ka talaga by the BIR. 
Okay, do we need to register the books every year? All right, so under the RMC or the Revenue Memorandum Circular number 82, that's 2008, the manual books of accounts previously registered but whose pages are not yet fully exhausted can still be used in the succeeding years. So without the need of registering or re-stamping the same, provided that the portions pertaining to a particular year should be properly labeled or marked by the taxpayer. Alright, so kung hindi pa naubos yung pages mo, so you can still continue up until the next years. Alright, especially for sa transactions natin, ay hindi naman ganun kadami yung transactions natin. So, most probably yung isang isang book, no, maabot tayo ng 2 to 3 years. Ano ba? So, kailangan mo lang siya i-mark. Like for example, yung first, let's say 10 pages, that's for the year 2020. The next pages for the year 2021. So, mayroon ka lang dapat marking para alam ng BIA kung saan yung particular year. Alright? Now, last question we have here, when do we need to buy and re-register succeeding books? Alright, so under the Revenue Memorandum Circular number 82, that's 2008, the registration of new sales or sets of manual books of accounts shall only be um, at the time when the pages of the previously registered books have all been already exhausted. Okay? This means that it is not necessary for the taxpayer to register a new set of manual books of accounts each and every year. Alright? So, pag naubos mo na, saka ka pa magpa-register ng new set of manual books. However, pag mo talaga agad isagad. <laughs> okay. Baka maubusan ka na, no? Um, siguro, if you still have like two pages left or maybe five, uh, five pages left na lang doon sa uh, last uh, sa books mo, uh, that's the time bibili ka na and then uh, register ka na magpa-restamp o magpa-re-register ka na doon sa, sa BIR. Alright? So, it is not necessary for taxpayer to re register a new set of manual books, okay, for every year. As long as meron pa, no, enough pa siya for, the, for this year, so pwede pa yun, okay? Ayan guys, no, dyan na, dito na natatapos yung ating part 1 of our tutorial about the manual books of accounts all right so this is just part one and there is part two specifically on how to um you know write okay something into your journal ledger and of course your cash receipts and disbursements books all right so by the way i hope i was able to help you guys with this um tutorial and if you are new to this channel please click that subscribe button um like and share and then if you have some suggestions or questions uh, feel free to comment that down below. Alright, so again guys, thank you for watching and God bless you all.